Just a quick update here on our nursery. We're working on some little bit of dirt work this afternoon. And uh, got our sidewalk done. Got these doors framed out. We've got metal on the north side, which is exciting. And then it's a little dark in here still, but we've got the doors. They've got to get them set. They have started putting up the ceiling and insulating it, which is awesome. Um, these are each of the stalls for the mamas. And we have the doggy doors in, which is amazing. And um, let's see, of course, they got insulation in here. We got our one window in. Um, we are going to make, decided like a built-in, um, like window bench seat here, all the way down that has storage underneath, and, um, that way I can sleep down here or hang out with kids or whatever, and we're going to put a TV over the door here, um, that way the kids can watch a TV or me or whatever, mamas can watch Animal Planet. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to fit a little mini fridge behind this door here, we'll see how that goes. Um. But that's the plan. Um, and then, of course, doggy drains down there. We've got steps that go up here. And then um, in here will be a uh, water heater, well, washer, dryer, bathtub, um, and then just extra storage and stuff up here. So, it's very exciting. Hey, little T. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then this, for um, for those of you who haven't seen on my personal Facebook, this is um, Little T. <laughs> and T um, was an early Christmas present for my husband. So, I'm the collie person. I figure if I can have 15 collies, surely he can have one dog. <laughs> uh, Little T is a Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Uh, my husband had one um, several years ago that passed away and uh so yeah i got him a chesapeake bay retriever puppy for early christmas present so yay for us anyway um so you'll be seeing little t a lot on our videos he's the newest um addition to our family um let's see here so all this of course is filthy right now but we're working on like drainage and grading and stuff here um and then so we'll clean all this up and sow grass and everything there Navy, you handsome boy. Navy's a good boy. <laughs> and, yeah, so, okay, back to this. This is the porch. So, um, the dogs on this side, the puppies um, in each set of mamas will have a porch space. Um, so, then they will each have their own um, run coming out. Um, and then probably going to just go like the same distance out here to these posts. Um, we moved our chicken coop that way. And so then they'll have a long run um, for mamas and puppies. Um, so that they've got plenty of room to learn to potty train and get exercise and play. Um, and all that good stuff. So that's very exciting. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just um, got the puppies. I sent in their registrations today. And I'll be posting them on AKC tonight. So really kind of the first available posting I'm doing anywhere um, so that's exciting and we've got um, let's see I want to think we've got maybe nine that aren't sold out of the 17 so that's pretty good for three or four weeks old so anyway we're exciting um, exciting times around here and everything is going great and little T is a sweet, sweet addition. Don't know um, yet if there will be a future there for a second breed to add. That is not the plan, but T comes from a very, very, very well-bred line um, of champions and grand champions and, and hunting performance dogs. So, like I said, he's going to be with us for a long, long time, and uh, we're happy to have him in the family. So, he's about uh 10 weeks old now so anyway but yeah there's the front view of the nursery kennel and uh, yeah we're super super excited about it 
and um, are very, very blessed to have healthy puppies. Um, I haven't changed the blanket yet, so you'll have to excuse the mess, but I will go ahead and show you the little puppies real quick. <laughs> Too far down? Come on, Litty. Come on. <laughs> Good boy. Um, let's see here. So ready to get this done. All this mud flooding right here is driving me insane. Anyway. Okay. Oh, look. Somebody's pooping in the box. Pooping in the box. So you can see, like, even the ones that are missing are getting really close to the litter box. Um, so I will come out and change your blanket again tonight. So every night they get a clean blankie, and uh, then I don't clean the litter box. So it's getting really, really good already um, as far as um, bathroom. So I only see, yeah, there's a couple, like one, two, three little spots. Oh, four <laughs> spots of poop in this one, but. Uh, we're getting there, so um, this is the process. This is what it looks like. Um, mamas are on shift now, so mamas go in and out about every four hours um, to nurse and to eat all the extra food. And then puppies are already eating um, some dry, hard food, which is great. Um, Lassie's puppies um, are here, Lassie and Navy, and then Kiva's puppies are here, so Kiva and Chance. Um, but yeah, they're doing great. And Excuse me, let's not be rude. Um, I will be doing some uh, more videos and probably gonna do pictures tomorrow night. Um, they have grown so much with us having the flu last week. It really um, kind of messed things up as far as our pictures <laughs> and timeline and getting those done. So um, we're behind on that, but we're going to be doing that very soon. So they're super cute and I'm gonna do the personality video. I might try to do that tonight, it'll be late. Um, but where I change out the blankie and just sit in there with them and like let you watch everybody play so you can see who's doing what and talk about personalities and stuff like that. So I'll try to get that done tonight um, when I change blankies. But anyway, that is all for now. Um, I'm fixing to go up here. My um, dad and sister are here to visit and play with the kids. We're going to carve some pumpkins. Come on, Nitty. Uh, we're going to carve pumpkins that we um, got too busy and didn't carve on Halloween. Yeah, I'm super slacking mom right now. Um, and yeah, then cook some supper and just visit for a little bit with them um, before I come back out for uh, blanky time and last check on puppies. So Anyway, hey Reedy Roo. Hey Reedy Roo. By the way, a lot of people um, think that people that like purebred dogs only like purebred dogs. Um, I have two mutts. <laughs> if you have room in your home for a mutt, please consider adding one. Um, I absolutely love both of my mutts to pieces. They're some of the best dogs, um, just like the Collies. So, um, if you have room in your life, um, consider adding a mutt as well. So, I plan to always have a couple mutts as long as I live. Um, ones that need a spot to be, uh, well, we're a spot to be. So, Rita is about 14. Um, now she has bad cataracts and she's just about deaf. <laughs> um, she came home with me from the vet. She was supposed to be euthanized and she was just too sweet. I couldn't put her to sleep, um, from the pound. So I brought her home and Jack, I found him in the middle of the road when he was about six weeks old in the highway and I picked him up and brought him home. So, and Jack is 10. So anyway, there is no rule that says you can't have a purebred dog and a mutt and, um, uh, the mutts are just as good, sometimes better, sometimes not. But if you uh, have room in your heart and your home, please consider, um, yeah, consider both. There's no reason why you can't have have your cake and eat it too. So, anyway, it's a beautiful afternoon here in Tennessee. And, yeah, we're super excited. So, um, and for anyone that's, you know, looking at puppies, um, we do have a um, ground transport lady. Um, or Sorry, lady and gentleman, her and her husband. Um, he's a USDA certified transporter. That's what he does for a living is uh, deliver dogs and puppies all over the United States. So we have puppies in Alaska, California, Florida, Maine, uh, gosh, Chicago, Illinois, Colorado or Utah. Yeah, all over the place we have puppies in the United States. So um, just because you're not close to us doesn't mean that uh, you can't have a Liberty Collie in your family. So. All right, guys and gals, that's all for now. Um, Here's me. For those of you who um, don't ever get to see me, I'm the person behind the face. 
Nice to meet you. Hi. And yeah, that's about it. Okie dokie. We will see you guys later. Hope you're having a great week and talk to you soon. Bye.